Hi everyone, so welcome back to part two of the February 2012 Iraq tour. So we featured at least 56 tees from the starting from the top shelf and working our way down here. Now all that's left to feature are the ones on this shelf. So let's get started. Is my seven inch mature female, Samapoas Camerjai, the Trinidad Chevron. This is a Monocentropus Lambertoni, the Madagascar Lambertons T. Five inch female named Nuburu. All right, this one here is a P. Formosa, Salem Ornamental. This one here is my all time favorite pokey. This is a Pocotheria Barra, the Ivory Lowland Ornamental. Formerly P. Safasca Lowland. We saw her drinking water in the other video. She is a six and a half inch mature female that I raised close to three years ago as a half an inch spiraling. She goes really quick and definitely my most favorite one. This one here is my mature female Pocothera regalis, the Indian ornamental. This is Zelda. She is my mother of the egg sac. Let's go have a look at the eggs. So these are 69 days old now. As I updated you the last time. There's at least 80 eggs in here. And most of them are starting to develop. Awesome. All right, here's Zelda's neighbor. This is Trinity, my Vicalaria Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe, the one I got from Shanrock 777. It's the one with the dark green carapace. Now, this is Pandora. She is another P. regalis. This is another mature female that I'm hopefully starting to assume that she's going to be grabbed very soon. I'm going to be mating her this week. And there she is, if you can actually make out the figure. There's the legs. She's approximately around Zelda's size. Maybe slightly a little bit smaller. But she's definitely very nervous. Okay, these four are Samopoas camera dry slings that I got from Sinister during the expo. This is exactly how I keep them. There's a little guy right over there. You can see her or him. It's two. Number three, you can make out the legs right there. And number four. Somewhere in that um, sea of burrows. Cool. Alright, we got some more slings. This one here is the one that Mademoiselle One bought me. From Tarantula Canada, this one is my Lamper Palma Valisiopis, the Singapore Blue. Could just make up the hairs. So far, it's about an inch and a half already. This one we just freshly molted, and we saw her yesterday. It is Marin Thrixel Palma Sanulum. The Cobalt Red Rump. Alright, this tea is definitely going to get a rehouse very soon. Uh, this is my Ephobopus Rufescens, the Burgundy Skeleton. And here's another tea that is supposed to be molting very soon. It is a Thrixel Palma Ocker tea, the Peru Flame Rump. That's the one that you've probably seen in earlier videos of mine, Bubbles. That was my old mature male. T number 72 is Scarlet, 
a freshly molted Brachypalma smithy, Mexican red knee, my second favorite of all my collection. Here's Jade, a seven and a half inch mature female, Panthibidius antonis, the steely blue leg. And here is my mature female, Gramasola pulchra, Brazilian black. The very popular Gramasola rosea, the rose here. This one here is Michaela, she's the normal form that I got from my friend Eichmann 2006. She can be somewhat defensive. And here's another one that I got from a trade of four uh, key gigas. Plus a hundred dollars. Is a mature female Sirico Palma Rebronitans, which is the Panama Red Rump. And this is Roberta, she is a 7 inch female. This is my 6 inch female, Vicalaria Hurriana, the Ecuadorian Wooly Pink Toe. She's a total sweetheart. And this one, not very much so, is a female Cyclosternum fasciatum, the Costa Rican Zebra. Sorry, Costa Rican Tiger Rump. <laughs> Made a little mistake there. Where is Stella? Ah, there she is. C. fasciatum. Very skittish. Alright, so I think now we're at 80. This is my Lassiodora Para Hibana. The Salmon Pink Bird Eater. That's Daniela. As you can see, she's not terribly friendly. Oh, we have a contender with my Pecan Cerides. Ooh. She was a half an inch sling back in 2009 and now she's approximately four and a half inches. Ooh, gotta watch out with her. Alright, this tea has sentimental value to me because this is possibly my oldest living tarantula. And I've had her ever since I started this incredible addicting hobby is my Brachypalma albopilosum. My curly hair, Curly Sue. She's 23 years old and she's just a total sweetheart. She's like Rob C's Zilla to me. I think I treasure her more than any of my other teas. Because I just had her for so long and she's been with me through thick and thin. Hey Alice, I haven't seen you in a while. This is my Polinobius muticus, the king baboon. Unfortunately she lost a leg from her molting process. Come here, I want to show you. Come here, let's see you. And looks like she's got a little crooked leg too. But she's doing fine. The reason why I destroyed her hide because I wanted to get that water dish out of there. But so far she's doing well. One of the slowest growing baboons available. Just awesome. This one here, number 83. Formerly known as Cyclosternum schmarte. Uh, this one is now known as Pseudohoplopus species long-haired, the yellow-banded bird eater. This is Larry, is a 3-inch male. The 84, we just saw this yesterday. My Lassiodora fracta, the Brazilian smoky gray bird eater, 2.5 inch suspect female. Number 85 is my C. Perez Molesi, the Bolivian dwarf. Uh, she is over there in her burrow. Next up is another Brachypalma Vagans, the Mexican Red Rump. This is Annette, a sling that I got from Tarantula Canada. Uh, where is that little guy? Okay. Right over there. Next up are three slings. Start with number 87, 
This is Morse, my Grandma Sol Rosé red form. Uh, this guy is a little male. That will eventually breed with uh, Lois, the little, the big fur female that you saw. I have a pair, actually a sex pair, of Brachypelma erratum. Uh, this is the Mexican flamey. So I'm going to get Claire out to sh have a look at what she looks like. Kind of looks like your B. smithy. Actually a lot. Except the only difference, as you see, they got flame tips on the knees, and that's why they call it the flame knee. And this is Leon, guy's a little male. T number 91 is Gretel, my Theraphosa Sturmy, the Burgundy Goliath bird eater, that suffered somewhat of a complicated molt, but she's fine and eating well. She's almost uh, 9, 10 inches. Here's Katana, a very plump female, Brachypelma bomi, the Mexican fire leg. She does kick a lot of hairs. She's approximately 21 years old. Another very old T. Alright, T number 93 is my female Pocotheria metallica named Mia. Goody Sapphire Ornamental. For some reason, she just loves the backdrop. It likes to go underneath. She made a little burrow. Even though she's got a really nice enclosure, she prefers the back for some reason. But that's cool. She's in serious need of a molt, though. Because she hasn't been eating for the past couple of days. And that's usually the sign when your old worlds are in pre-molt, like I said in the tutorial video. Okay, so it's 5.58 p.m., about an hour and a half uh, since I started making this video. So this is Nutty 4, everyone's favorite rose hair, Talia. Eats like you wouldn't believe. And this one now starting to become very popular in my feeding videos now, since she's very hungry, is a Vitalius Sirocabi, which is the Brazilian giant bird eater. No, Brazilian striped bird eater. As you can see, I'm not a habit user of the common names. Here's Gordon, the last H. Maculata that I have. Got this one with the uh, H. Maculata, the P. Muticus from PDDM89. Hasn't really grown very much, but I'm hoping this one is a male because I do have a couple of females that I like to breed with. Next, the most potent one in my collection so far is a Stromatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. I uh, named her Darcy. And this one is actually, looks to be a confirmed female. Right over here. Certainly not recommended for any beginner. She's actually relatively calm for this species. And this is the last Avic I own. Surprisingly, this is a sling that I raised since 2009, and she's doing perfectly well. It is a Vicularia Leda, the Puerto Rican pink toe. And there she is. And thankfully, she doesn't have her egg sac anymore. One of the more easier Avics to raise next to the A Manatrix. Alright, over here we have Darius, a immature male, a Nandu Tripepi, the giant starry blonde bird eater. We have Roy right over here, an immature male, Gramasola pulchra, Brazilian black, and one of the most docile species that ever come across in this hobby is this Euathlus species red, which is a Chilean fire red rump. That's the maximum size that they can attain. And ideally, it's actually more handleable than your E. capistratus. Very fun species. And there again, she likes to be handled.
she's a sweetie pie. Very, very tolerable to handling. Definitely my most tamest one so far. Unlike him, he's actually pretty mean. Okay, so I have some more spiderlings. This one here is a suspect male, Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. Uh, another suspect male is a Lassidura klugi, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Necroth, he's freshly molted a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> this one is one of my most slowest growing species that I have. It is a Euathlis Wagenbergi, the white collared, very docile specimen. He's approximately two years old. And this one you probably may or may not see very well. Probably can they got the abdomen. That's my Holotheli Inci, the Trinidad Olive. And that, my friends, is probably one of the best communal species available in the hobby. That I can tell you. Number 107, my awesome female Pocotheria Safusca Highland, the Candy Highland Ornamental. Three inch female named Candy. This one, number 108, is uh, one from Australia, like my Selino Cosmia Crash Peeps. This one here is Idecarmata, which is the New Guinea Black Femur. I got from Shannon. Yeah, it's a deep burrower, and I don't really get to see much of the specimen very much. If I do see one out, I'll definitely make a video of this one. It's actually really cool with the orange carapace and black body. 109 is my P. Rufolata male, Sephora, that I got from Mac and Cass. This one here was, I thought it was originally a P. Cordatus, but it actually ended up being a P. Ligardi when I found her molt. Uh, this is Nerissa. Uh, she is a female. Here I have a pair of Pocotheria striata, which is the Mysore ornamental. This one here is the suspect male, as you've seen. He's actually kind of nervous. And this one here I have supposedly a female. And here she actually made a little burrow for herself. Cool. All right, number 112. Okay, how am I going to do this so you can see very well? There we go. Ephopus Udeman, the Emerald Skeleton. Very fast. Number 113 is my 3-inch male, Acanthus Correa Genicolata, the Brazilian Giant White Knee, named Derek. This one I got from Jimmy is my... B. Bomi juvenile female named Melina. That's a super worm pupating. 114 or 115, I think I lost count. Uh, this is the Syriacopacus shoidi, the Malaysian earth tiger that I transferred. That was sure <laughs> an experience to actually transfer this one. little burrow for herself. Here is a suspect male, probably penultimate, just freshly molted, Pocotheria fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. I just featured this one yesterday. It's pretty big. And this is a sling that I got at the expo. Where is this guy? There, right over there. A very hungry eater. This is my rare one. Pocotheria smithy. The yellow backed ornamental. Confirmed female. That's a good sign. Before I continue on the tour, it's actually a little better video of uh, Cody's mature male P. regalis, the Indian ornamental. 
Brad's mature male bee vagans is actually making a sperm web. That's what they do. He's going to go upside down and charge up his pedipalps. So I think he's ready for another mating attempt. I just got to feed the female. And here's a little better video of the peak to green with Sully because we didn't really see her very much. Cool. So I think now we should be at T number 120. This one here is a pogey. This one is a Petterseni ghost ornamental. Amy. She's about an inch and a half spiraling. Number 121 is Marge. Maya Calcodes Desert Blonde. That I got from E-Man for $35. I'm so happy I got this one because I can't stress enough how Afonopalmas are really hard to come across here in Canada. So that should be a plus for me. 123 is Peach, my newly molted female G Pulker piece. T number 124, a very rare pokey. This is a Ramash Warm Ornamental, or Pocotheria Hanuma Villa Simica. Safina, she is around an inch and a half spiraling. You could probably just make the silhouette out of her. Very lucky to have a species like this. And now, save the best for last. And this is the very last tea that I have. Everyone knows this, and she needs no introduction. My spawn of hell. From Nictopus Cancerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. Isabella, she's around a four and a half inch female. And she's only about half grown. Exceptionally well behaved today. So, that's pretty much all the teas that I have in my collection. I do hope you enjoy this video, as I enjoyed making it. And when the spring import comes, I'm pretty much going to get some more teas. I haven't really decided of which ones I should get. Maybe if someone wants to give me some insight which ones I should get, that'll be really awesome. So thanks everyone, and hope you like it.